And Vito, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. That's all I got for today. Yeah, what can I get you? Is that it? All right, here's your car. Hey, where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. 
I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit? Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shut all. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? Hiya, Joe. This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay, listen, I got a job for you. The money's good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I sent you. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. So what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, and don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I got be. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in, we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. Yeah, so long, buddy. Yeah, can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said you might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Price Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're gonna be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. All right, kid. The place is locked up pretty tight at night, so you gotta get in for the back. Keep the back door open at night. No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. You're looking for the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So is the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office. Right. right. And be careful, there's guards in there at night. Don't let them see you. Kids these days. Fuck, don't shoot. Kid. 
Drop me at the hospital right here. Jesus, what the hell? The office is across the street. Okay, thanks for the ride, kid. Thanks, Maria. I'll see you. cost as much as a car. How the hell are you afford it? Mary's Uncle Lou passed away a few months back, left us some cash. And you bought yourself a television with it. Television's just a fad. We'll see about that, sonny boy. Yeah, so what does Mary think of it? She, uh... She ain't seen it yet. on that fancy television set of yours. 
Mostly cartoons. I ain't got much on right now, on account of the war. Cartoons? All that money to watch some cartoons. Oh, man. Salesman said when the war is over, they're supposed to start showing ball games on it, too. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. But listen, I was watching them cartoons, and they give me an idea. Oh, uh, here we go. Okay, Einstein, let's hear it. Now listen to this. What if you could control the cartoon? What do you mean? You know, control it. You could make the little guy on the screen do things. You could make him run around, drive a car, maybe even uh, have him shoot a gun, shoot things with it. Hey, you've been sniffing glue. How the hell are they gonna do that? Listen, I ain't worked that out yet. But you probably have to have some sort of box with buttons on it that controls the guy on the screen. I mean, one button would make him walk, the other would make him shoot, one would maybe make him... Ah, oh, yeah, that's your brilliant idea, huh? That sounds interesting, but it ain't never gonna happen. Oh, yeah? I'm sure someone will figure it out someday, and you can mark my words on that. Uh-huh. Sure they will. Right after they put a guy on the moon. <laughs> yeah, yeah, all right. I'm gonna get back to my crosswood puzzle here. Yeah, all right. Don't hurt yourself with that number two pencil. Believe that when I see it. Now pipe down while I finish my puzzle. Ah, raspberries. I'm gonna go make the rounds. Good riddance to you. Any plans for the weekend? Yeah, gonna relax and watch me some television. Well, you bought a television? I sure did. Man, those things cost as much as a car. How the hell did you afford it? Mary's Uncle Lou passed away a few months back, left us some cash. And you bought yourself a television with it. This is the director's office. This is where the key should be. All right, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. That's what I did. 
You want to see this thing. Seven inch black and white screen gets all three channels. Wow, sounds fascinating. What, you mean you ain't gonna get one? I'll stick with my newspaper and with my radio, thank you very much. This television's just a fad. We'll see about that, son. Yeah, so what does Mary think of it? She, uh, she ain't seen it yet. All that money to watch some cartoons. Oh, man. Salesman said when the war is over, they're supposed to start showing ball games on it, too. Yeah, I'll believe it when I see it. But listen, I was watching them cartoons, and they give me an idea. Oh, here we go. Okay, Einstein, let's hear it. Now, listen to this. What if you could control the cartoon? What do you mean? You know, control it. You can make the little guy on the screen do things. You can make him run around, drive a car, maybe even uh, have him shoot a gun, shoot things with. Have you been sniffing glue? How the hell are they gonna do that? Kill somebody, you keep driving that way. I'm gonna find you. Thank you, officer. All right, I don't want to see your face again. How you doing? Beautiful night, right? Well, how'd you make out? Piece of cake. They're in for a shock in the morning. That's good. I see Joe knows how to pick his friends. Uh, let's see what we got here. Ah, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date. And that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait. If you can get them to the gas station attendance by midnight, 
They'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. If you don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. You didn't say anything about any expiration dates. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? Look, you pull this off, I won't forget it, trust me. Now get going. The faster you unload them, the more money you get. I'll see you around. Hey, uh, I got some extra gas stamps. You interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks. Well, now forget you saw me. Hey, uh, interested in buying some gas stamps? Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me. Hey, uh, you in the market for
for some surplus gas stamps. Sure. Where'd you get them? Uh, on second thought, I don't even want to know. Smart man. All right, now fork over the dough. Yeah, all right. Just hope I don't get in trouble for this. Don't worry about it. Just keep your mouth shut. Watch where you go! gonna cost you, sir. Thank you, officer. Do yourself a favor, pal, and straighten up. Hey, uh... Got some extra gas stamps. Interested? Yeah, yeah, sure. I'm interested. All right, here you go. Fork over the dough. Sure, sure. Here's your money. Thanks, pal. Now forget you saw me. buying some gas stamps. Sure. Just keep this between you and me, all right? No problem. Just make sure you do the same. Sure. Sounds good to me.
Listen, I got these extra gas stamps. You want them? They're yours. Cheap. Yeah, all right. I'm good with that. All right, here you go. And keep your mouth shut about this, all right? Good thing, buddy. It'll be our secret. It better be. All right, that's the last of them. At least I got some cash. I should head back to Joe's. Get out. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Ten four. If you like what you see, let me know. Fits you perfect. Take care. Get out of there. and hope that they're relying on their sheer will as a last ditch.
Jeez. Look at this. Didn't know Joe could even write. We got another job. Something really big. Stop by Freddy's tonight. Bring a piece and some lockpicks. <laughs>